Hello my dear friends and welcome to Study IQ. I am Joy C. Joy and today in this lecture we will discuss about financial literacy and also we will see what is the role of financial literacy in improving financial inclusion. Let us first understand what is the current affair. Under the Pradhan Mantri Jan Dhan Yojana, the government has ensured that there is almost near universal access to bank accounts. So, the purpose of Pradhan Mantri Jan Dhan Yojana was to provide bank accounts to everyone in the country. And government has succeeded in this attempt to a larger extent. Most of the Indian population has opened a bank account under the Pradhan Mantri Jan Dhan Yojana. But what was the final goal of Pradhan Mantri Jan Dhan Yojana? It aimed at improving the financial inclusion in the country. Now, what is financial inclusion? Financial inclusion means bringing more number or bringing everyone into the formal financial sector. So, that is financial inclusion. So, financial inclusion becomes a reality only when the bank accounts opened through the Pradhan Mantri Jan Dhan Yojana are functional. So, functional bank accounts or usage of this bank accounts for conducting financial transactions ensures that there is financial inclusion. Otherwise, it is merely an opening up of bank accounts. So, what is the problem here? Pradhan Mantri Jan Dhan Yojana has ensured almost near to universal access of bank accounts. But the level of usage of this account remains very low. And identifying various reasons for this lower usage of the bank accounts which were opened through Pradhan Mantri Jan Dhan Yojana, one significant factor is the financial illiteracy. That means there is a lack of financial literacy among the masses. So that is why this has become an important current affair. And in this lecture, we will see what is financial inclusion, what is financial literacy and what is the role of financial literacy in improving the financial inclusion of the country. Now let us understand what are the concerns that are related to financial inclusion in the country. Pradhan Mantri Jan Dhan Yojana is a flagship financial inclusion program of the government and it aims at improving the financial inclusion. We have seen in the beginning that this program was successful in ensuring universal access to bank account. That means through this Yojana, government was able to increase the number of bank accounts. And India has now 180 billion bank accounts. But what is the problem? Among this 180 billion bank accounts in the country, around 48 percentage of the bank accounts have seen no transaction in the last one year. That means it is merely an opened bank account, but there is no financial transaction or financial inclusion. Financial inclusion happens only when there is transactions in the bank account. When a person uses the account, it becomes financial inclusion. Now, there are also issues related with insurance. With regard to insurance, what happens? There is lack of proper awareness among the masses with regard to the insurance products. And because of this lack of awareness, people usually buy insurance policies and because they do not have an awareness, there is lack of adequate planning in this insurance policies and usually many of them give up the policies in the midway. And from the part of the insurance providers, they usually push the products without adequately assessing the consistency and the income level of the buyers. So, both this together, the lack of awareness among the buyers of the insurance policies and also the Lack of assessment from the part of insurance providers makes insurances a failure in the country. And another issue is that the consumers who do not have financial literacy, they pile up unmanageable debts and finally they end up in paying higher interest on loans. So all these are because of a lack of financial literacy. Now let us understand what is financial literacy. So, financial literacy refers to a set of skills that allow people to manage their money wisely. This is the understanding of the basic financial concepts or essential financial concepts. So, it is a skill basically and through financial literacy, people will be able to use or manage their money better or wisely. 
and oecd has given a definition for financial literacy according to oecd the working definition of financial literacy is that it is a combination of awareness knowledge skill attitude and behavior so it is a combination of all these factors and this is necessary to make sound financial decisions and ultimately achieve individual financial well being so oecd has defined it so oecd has given five skills that are required which will make a person financially literate so this five skills will help that person to make sound financial decisions or better financial decisions and by making better financial decisions a person will be able to achieve financial well being so this is financial literacy according to oecd now coming to national strategy for financial education in india it is nsfe national strategy for financial education and this is based on the oecd's definition so we will see what are the targets or aim of nsfe or national strategy for financial education first of all it aims to spread awareness about financial products there are various financial products for example insurance loans so national strategy for financial education aims that awareness should be provided on basic financial products and by providing this awareness users will be able to access the formal financial sector that is banks nbfcs etc so when they have a awareness about the financial products they will become a part of formal financial sector and second aim is to educate the existing users so the existing users must be educated on various financial products and also financial services and this will help them to make informed choices or better choices so this will influence the decision making of the existing consumers or users so they will be able to make better choices and third aim is to ensure consumer protection so when consumers are aware about their financial products and services they will be able to make better choices and this will help them to escape from debt trap or other fraud so as a conclusion we can say that by imparting awareness or financial literacy the national strategy for financial education aims to convert ordinary individuals into informed individuals so this informed individuals will be able to question the financial services they consume now what is the way ahead or what has to be done in order to improve financial literacy in the country individuals should be imparted skills and knowledge and they should also have the ability to put the skills and knowledge into practice and for that attitude and self efficacy must be developed so this can be attained in the long run so attitude of people has to change imparting skill and knowledge is easy but the skill and knowledge should be able to put into practice so for that a behavioral change or a change in the attitude is required and that is a long term process and secondly a basic financial education must be provided and this basic financial education must include an understanding of financial planning it should also include debt management investing and also mechanics of interest rates and investment diversification also training must be provided so under the training people must be trained on smart spending that means to prioritize the needs over wants and people must also be educated on the use of credit cards we have seen in many cases those who are not aware of proper usage of credit card they finally end in a debt trap so the proper use of credit card must also be properly trained and a training must be given on understanding the terms of emi this is very important in case of loans many are not aware about the emis or equated monthly installments so before purchasing a loan they must be given a training regarding their emi payments and in general in order to improve the financial inclusion government should give more focus on regular usage it should not be just on access or increasing the number of bank accounts so government's focus must be on regular usage of this bank accounts merely providing access is not enough it should be 
backed up by regular usage and this should be the primary focus of the government you can find the pdf of this lecture on my facebook page and for any queries related to your upsc preparations you can get in touch with me on my facebook page or you can email me at joyc.sharyiq@gmail.com thank you